Hello everyone! Oh my gosh, today we're going to be making this card. I got this idea from Dawn on YouTube. She actually did a different card. She did one uh, using the O oh, Whale stamp set and an aquatic theme uh, or a whale theme on her card. And I actually, I was thinking, okay, well how can I use that technique and do it sort of in a different way and it came to me. A drink? Martini, if you will. Or whatever kind of adult beverage you prefer. And if you're too young, whatever kind of virgin beverage you prefer. <laughs> this will sort of move around. When you do it, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But this is fluid in here, so it'll move around a little bit and look like a drink. Alright, so I'm going to try and do this pretty quickly. So let's get started. You're going to use a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. A piece of Summer Smooches DSP, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. I'm going to use a piece of Old Olive, a piece of Real Red, and some Silver Glimmer paper. A piece of Basic Black, and a piece of Whisper White, just a scrap piece. Now I wanted the top of my margarita glass to be two inches long. I set it up at an inch at the one inch line. So from this side I set it up at the one inch line. So since this piece is four inches in width, you will cut it using the ruler on your arm from one inch to three inches. And then you're going to shift your paper. If you look on this side, you can see it shift two inches. So right now it is at the four and a quarter mark. You will want to bring it one, two inches in, and that will be at the two and a quarter inch mark. All right. And you're going to take your point to the two inch line on, your, on the ruler on your arm. And you're just going to kind of make a little a little hole right there using and you can kind of wiggle it a little bit just make it so you can see it because then what you're going to do is from this point down to the one you made you're going to make a straight line and then you're going to do the same on the other side so from this point down to that point you made all right and then you'll just pop that corner that uh triangle out and it'll look like that. Perfect. Okay, so to make this piece I'm going to give you a basic idea of what I did. I just traced this over a piece of silver, the back of silver glimmer paper. And then I wanted the the frame to be about an eighth of an inch out, but I'm just going to go ahead and kind of freehand it like I did before because that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. It's, if you want to completely measure it out for yourself, um, an eighth of an inch out all the way around, that's up to you guys. But start with this, start by tracing this, and then I would just kind of eyeball it the rest of the way. And then you'll just cut the center out, and then you'll cut around the rest of it. Um, that's how I did mine. So using the large oval punch, and just a scrap piece of silver glimmer paper, you are going to cut about half of that, that oval. And that will be your martini glass base. All right, and for this piece right here, right here, the stem of the martini, 
glass. I used the extra large tasteful trim die. You see this one right here? That is the one I used. So I just took a piece of glimmer paper, of the silver glimmer paper, and I like to cut it upside down. For some reason it seems to cut it a little bit better. This is about two inches long. It can be a little longer than that or a little smaller than that, whatever you feel um, happy about. Um, so you'll just send it through your Big Shot and you'll get a piece that looks like that. Ta-da! For the olives, I used the half inch circle punch and my little circle punch, the circle shape from the itty bitty shapes punch pack. And I punched out two half inch circles using the old olive cardstock and two of the itty bitty shapes punch pack circles using real red cardstock. I just used a little bit of two way glue pen. I just looked from the back and I trimmed around the excess of that real red piece. There you go. And you can see those. I don't need to. All right, so you're just going to have two of those. And then I took my paper piercing tool and my mat and just pierced two holes. Make sure they're not too close to the sides or to the edges of the olive because it may break the paper through when you try and put your toothpick through. See, that one might be a little too close. And just be really careful. You're going to poke through the front to the back and just kind of work it through. And I don't know how well you can see that. But you'll just sort of push it up your your toothpick. Work that one all the way up to the top. So it looks like that. You're also going to take a piece of basic black taffeta ribbon and tie it into a bow and then I I put a little glue dot on the back um, so that's why it's on a piece of paper right now. Uh, I stamped down using real red ink the cheers from the happy hour set. Just looks like that. And here's the cheers right here. Stamped that down in real red and punched it out using the scallop oval punch. And then I, I punched out one scallop oval um, in basic black and I cut it in half and then sort of trimmed off. I, I rounded it because when you trim it in half there's a point right here. Um, so you just kind of trim that those points off and just gonna adhere that to the back of this. So it'll look like that. Can't really tell too much but you can see the black a little bit in the back of it. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. Alright, so I want to go back to the toothpick and give you a little tip. I just took um, one of these little edge edges of the dimensional and I cut it in half and you're going to use those two pieces, those little two pieces and you're just going to put them on the tip of the of the uh, toothpick because you don't want the toothpick to pop your little baggie full of soap or shampoo or hair you know whatever gel hair gel whatever you use you don't want this toothpick to pop that because that defeats the card <laughs> it completely and you'll probably get in trouble if you send it in the mail, you probably want to send it, by the way, in the mail um, via a bubble mailer. Alright, so just make sure that you kind of protect that tip from 
popping that by putting dimensionals on it. It'll buffer it, protect it a little bit, hopefully. So I got these little baggies from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're two inches by three inches, and they come in a packet that looks like this. I found them over by the jewelry aisle, I believe. It's like an end cap at the jewelry aisle at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using some body soap, and it's just, I figure this color works for as kind of um, a really light, maybe a really filthy martini or something, um, or whatever kind of beverage. You just put some in your bag, all right, and smush it out, and then um, and make sure all of the air is out of your baggie. I'm going to put some sticky strip along the back of this. I'm going to put a little bit of sticky strip along the top of this, and I'm going to put some along the bottom. Sit down. I have a really thin strip of red line tape or sticky strip that I got from Michaels that works perfectly with an eighth of an inch. Okay. Perfect. Right, and take the base of your martini glass and put some sticky strip on the back of it. Okay. And I'm gonna take this, put some sticky strip on the back of this, and I am gonna actually tuck the bottom of this underneath the top part of the base of your of the martini glass. Line it up nicely. All right, there we go. And take your ribbon and put it there in the center. I'm just gonna go with one olive because the other one I couldn't get. I tried twice to get an olive that would work. Tuck your toothpick in there. I'm using a glue dot underneath the olive and just press that in and the glue dot will hold your olive steady as well. It'll hold the whole toothpick and the olive steady. Okay, so there's that. And I also took some basic rhinestones. I took this size of basic rhinestones. And you're just gonna kind of pop them on to make it look like bubbles. And you're just going to put a bunch of dimensionals on the back of this thing. And you'll fit it on the front of your whisper white piece. Alright, so that's what that looks like. And then I actually already did the inside. Let me fold it and then I'll show you what I did with the inside. Alright, so that's what the front looks like. And that's what the inside looks like. So I used an assortment of the happy hour drinks, which is this set. Um, I actually put them all together on one, I used one of these things from uh, Michaels. So I put them all together on one, lined it up, and inked it up in the Versamark, stamped it down, and then um, I poured some cherry cobbler stamp and emboss powder over it and heat set it. So this is embossed right here. All of these are embossed. And then that says, here's to you on your birthday. And that I stamped down in real red ink. And that also comes in the happy hour stamp set right here. Here's the outside. And here's the inside. Cute. How cute is that? Okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, happy stamping.